Hey there, welcome to another episode of Mondane Designs. I'm your host, Mondane. This video is part of my collection series, and today we're going to be talking about my current GameCube collection. I remember when the GameCube came and how a lot of people had discounted it by saying that, oh, that's just going to be a kid's system, just going to be a kid's system. And back then, yeah, compared to something like the Xbox, it was kind of a kid's system. It doesn't mean that it wasn't fun, though. Back then, I was collecting every system that came out. I was not going to have a risk of missing out on a wonderful experience just because I didn't have the system that that game came out. And so I bought every system back then, and I got the GameCube on release day. I pre-ordered it and went to my local EB games and picked it up. Uh, it was a great system. My friends had it as well. We all played the GameCube. And nowadays, it's really hard to be able to afford the game. The GameCube is a home video game console developed and produced by Nintendo. It was first released in 2001 as the successor to the Nintendo 64. It uses many DVDs as its primary storage medium and has a variety of controllers and accessories that are available. Some of its popular games include Super Smash Bros. Melee, Mario Kart Double Dash, and The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. The game system was discontinued in 2007. Now, that's a pretty good lifespan. It's six years, but I think it's, it was really, really an underdog back then, which is probably why the games are so expensive right now. But with all of that said, let's just roll it over to what I currently have in my game cube, game collect. Okay, first up we've got the Game Boy Player startup disc. This is fully complete instructions, disc, and the odd Japanese case. I think it was the only Japanese case that was commercially released in the United States. Here's a custom job. My memory card case. I got a stamp case and cut out some foam, glued it into place. I've got all of my memory cards in here. Uh, I made one of these for Retro Wolf 88 and gave it to him at Game Jam South in 2022. There's another custom case. It's the action replay case. I had to cut a part of this out right here. You can tell so that I could fit the memory card, but it does fit everything perfectly. It's a really nice job. And I sacrificed a sports game <laughs> to actually be able to get that case. Actually, it was at a charity shop and um, the, the lady had decided to uh, give it to me because the game was already stolen out of it. We have Baton Kaitos, one of the rare two disc games on the GameCube. One of my favorite series, Bloody Roar, P Primal Fury. I think this was like in between three and four in the series. If I'm wrong, comment down below. Next we have Chaos Field. Again, fully complete in box. Most of these games, I'm the first owner. Uh, Custom Robo, so I was the one who popped the seal. This one's complete. This one's actually a lot of fun. A little bit undiscovered, more people should play it. Next, Donkey Konga. I do have the Congo, or the Bongos. And uh, there's the disc, fully complete in box. Although I don't have the oversized box for the bongos anymore. Donkey Konga 2, complete in box. 
And here's Donkey Kong Jungle Beat. Again, complete in box. Extreme G3, or X, XG3. Uh, one of my one of my favorites. Uh, this one I picked up from Blockbuster um, a long time ago, but again, just a great game. Definitely deserves to, you know, have a little bit more attention brought to it. F Zero GX. Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles, and I do have the Game Boy Advance uh, controller adapter for it as well. It's a very interesting game. We have Hunter the Reckoning. Based off of the old White Wolf game. A classic, Ikaruga. And then Kirby Air Ride. This is the, one of the ones that I picked up after the GameCube had already ended its life cycle. Kind of difficult to find. Next up, speaking of difficult to find, and it's actually complete. And another difficult one to find. It's the Ocarina of Time and the Master Quest disc. Then we have Lost Kingdoms. Case is a little bit worse for wear, but still it holds the game and holds the art and does everything just fine. Luigi's Mansion. It's a must-have for any GameCube fan. Mario Party 6. This is one of the few Mario Parties that I actually kept. Usually I would wait for the next Mario Party to come out and trade in my old one. Mario Kart Double Dash, one of the best Mario Karts uh, in history. Mega Man Network Transmission. I liked the Mega Man EXE universe. I thought it was very well thought out. Uh, everything flowed very well, but Few people disagree with me. Namco Museum. If you've seen my PlayStation 1 collection, unfortunately this one's not complete in box, but if you've seen my PlayStation 1 collection, yeah, I have like almost all the Namco stuff. A preview disc. I think this was like $5 at uh, Electronics Boutique back in the day. Now we have Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. Complete in box. You'll notice that all the paint on my discs has not cracked. Uh, it's because I've been very careful and actually rehydrated some of the discs. Oh, I'll have to blur that out. Uh, Fantasy Star Online. So, yep, I was a big PSO player. I played it on the Dreamcast and I played it on the GameCube and that was about it. I played it on the PSP as well. And it's much more rare variant Fantasy Star Online Episode 1 and 2 Plus. This one's very rare. And again, I'm going to have to blur some stuff out, but whatever. Fantasy Star Online 3. Yep, more of the same, except this was not the same game. Uh, this was some weird card battle game. It honestly should have been a mini game, if anything. It should not have been its own standalone. We have Sonic Mega Collection. There's quite a few Sonics back here. But again, bleed in box. My acrylic paint has not cracked because I've taken the time to recondition it. My one and only import game for the GameCube, which is the Soul Calibur game. One of my friends gave this to me. Very generous of him to do so. Star Fox Adventures. Another CIB. And Star Fox Assault. 
not CIB. This is actually a reproduction art and reproduction manual, but it serves my purposes just fine. Another demo disc, which is kind of weird, but I was collecting almost everything back then, but this is the uh, Rebels, Rebel Strike Rogue Squadron 3 limited edition preview disc. And it actually had like full games on it. It had some unlockable game. I think it was the old arcade game. Mario Sunshine. Complete. Tales of Symphonia. Another rare double disc game, and it's also rare double disc case. Be surprised at how much the double disc case go for, which is why a bunch of people separate them from the games and sell them separately. Zoids Battle Legends. Uh, I kind of like Max, and Zoids was a little bit interesting. Um, I need to get back into this one and determine if it needs to stay in the collection. But that's basically it. And that's it for this episode of Mondane Designs. I'm your host, Mondane, and I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I enjoyed making it. I have videos on the 1st and 15th of every month, and I look forward to sharing them with you. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a wonderful day.